Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and welcome to the React Native. We have been discussing about the navigation and this is a product that we are building, the app that we are building, which will give you a more sense of how navigation can be used. But in this video, we need to create a couple of components because obviously we'll be looping through them and they will be useful. You don't need to create these components. You can actually just copy paste them from the GitHub because we have already created so many components, but I didn't want you to just jump out the things and you might figure out, hey, where this is coming up from. So that's why we are doing it in Flow. Uh, otherwise, these are just basic component. You can use anything uh, in place of them. These are just some data rotators where we'll be just putting some loop through them, showing the datas. Uh, just like that. So let's go ahead and create a new component. So I'll right click new folder that will be components and we'll be creating two components. The first one is going to be product item itself and the second one is going to be separator which is just a line which separates the products uh, or whatever you want to separate out. So let's go ahead and create a new file. This one will be going to be uh, product item of course dot tsx and the another one is going to be separator separator.tsx all right so the separator is the easy one so we're going to take it down first it's really a small piece of code so react native functional component with a uh, style sheet yeah we don't need style sheet for this we need actually a little bit uh, so this looks good and what we're going to do is we're going to be moving this up yep all right, so separator is pretty easy. Uh, all we need to do is bring in separator from here. So style sheet text view, and let's also bring a separator. And yep, this is given to us directly. Uh, so please, no, not separator, not like here. We need to actually create this. Forget, forget it, my bad. Uh, so we'll just have this view, and let's just remove everything from here. Uh, this is nothing, just a line that we want to create. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get a style. And this is style is going to be like this. And we're going to go ahead and say styles dot separator. We don't have this. So let's copy this and create it up here. So let's go up here. Separator goes like this. And there is nothing too much on the styling. We just provide a height to it. So height is going to be uh, somewhat like 0 0.8. You can go ahead and sh uh, shrink it down, make it bigger and all of that. We also need to give it a color so that it actually comes up. So I do have a specific color in my notes that I'll be using. Uh, feel free to just change the color a little bit or less, however you like. You want a sharp black line, you want a grayish line. So based on that, you can just change the separator. And that is it. That is your separator. It's just a simple line that we have, which is a view. And this view is going to be acted. After every item, we'll be placing this separator. So I told you, it's really, really basic. Now, after this, in the products item, again, a React Native functional component with style sheet. And we'll move the style sheet above. In fact, uh, you don't need to worry about the style sheet. I'll just give you the style sheet so that you don't have to worry. I'll just bring it from my notes uh, that we prepared. So this is all the style sheet that we have. All right. Uh, if you wish, you can actually grab it from uh, the GitHub. I'll just push every code there. And you can just even contribute if you want to uh, make it a little bit better or something. You can write an article about it on the hash node. And these days, hash node is going all powered with AI. It can even generate tweets uh, based on the content that you are writing. AI is full throttle mode in the hash node. So go ahead and check them out. It's a pretty fun and fantastic. And they happen to be the sponsor of this entire series. Uh, yes, this series is a lot longer. So uh, we are just adding more videos. We are not restricted by only this much of video should be there or something. We have a free hand. So I'm just enjoying my time in just making this series. So big shout out to them for giving us this, uh, uh, this kind of a freedom. All right, so let's move into the product item. And what we need is before we actually get this product item, let's define that we obviously need to include a type here. So we will be having a type. This will be product item, product props actually. Same the one which we declared in the app.js. And this one will be coming up from product uh, props with children. So props with children, there we go. And once we have this, we'll go like this and we'll define it that, hey, what kind of uh, things you are expecting? We are expecting that you will get a product and that will be of type of product. There we go. So this is all happy. Now we can inject this product type as a props into here. So it will be all happy. Uh, all we have to do is say something like this that, hey, go ahead and extract this product. And we have already mentioned that this will be of type product props. There we go. A little bit type safety that we have introduced. 
Okay, we have all these containers and everything lying around. So let me tell you that how the basics of the image will be working on. You can go ahead and change this as well. No problem at all. So first and foremost, this view, it has some styles. So let's go ahead and grab the styles and styles.container. So obviously it's a wrapping container that we have. And inside this, we don't have the text like this. We have actually first and foremost, the image that we are bringing in. So this is our image, obviously the self-closing one, just like this. This image obviously will have a style, but first let's go ahead and give it a source. So we'll provide a source. The source that you'll be getting is going to be a URI and that URI will be bringing in in the product, which will be an object. So we'll be saying product dot and then we'll be having this image URL. That's it. And apart from this styling, styling is totally uh, optional. If you wish, you can grab it. But since we have written that, go ahead and grab them. So this one is going to be styles dot image. That's all. Now, this is the first thing that we have uh, image. Now, after this, we'll be having a couple of views uh, here, couple of views. The first view is going to be the rating container. The another one is going to be the price container. So that's all we have to do. So let's go ahead and wrap them up inside a view. So there we go. I'll just move it on to the same level indentation. And this one is like this, two spaces. Okay, that's good. So we'll have this view inside this view. First and foremost, let's have a text which will display the product name. So this is the text that we have. And here we'll be injecting a classic product name. So let's go ahead and do this. Product dot name. And uh, this also has some pre-built styles that we are giving you, but you can feel free to put in your own style. That is also not going to bother you much. Styles dot name. Okay, once we have this, now we need two containers or two views, one for holding their rating and one for holding their pricing. So that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a view just like this. And we need actually two of them. So we'll copy this in a minute. First, let's provide the stylings for them. So the first styles is going to be like this and we'll be having a list of styles. So we'll be providing them styles dot row container. And another one is going to be styles dot rating container. So these are the two. We need actually two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up here uh, for a second and I'll actually duplicate this one. This is rating container that we have and we have another one which is a price container. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one to price container. That's all. Let me bring it back. All right. So this is all good. Now let's go ahead and break them apart so that we can see it. And again, if you are interested in putting more values or more things, however, like you don't like them on the left side or center, you can just go ahead and manipulate them. Very basic styling. We actually did all of this in the project to itself. Uh, further than this, let's go ahead and grab a view just like this. Inside the view, we are going to have a text. So let's go ahead and go grab a text. And this text is going to be simply that how much uh, the rating is. And then we are going to provide the late rating count as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this uh, rating symbol, which is just a star. Feel free to just go ahead and put another thing or like that. And not only that, uh, we'll be providing a product rating here. So let's go ahead and inject that just before this. And we can go ahead and provide. Basically, what we're doing is just extracting the values here. That's all. So we have the rating here. Uh, so product dot rating. So similarly, we can just extract more values up here. Now I will not waste your time enough here. I'll just uh, copy and paste them from my notes so that you can at least see that what is all happening. So let me just go ahead and grab them from my notes. You already know these are containers. We have built them around a lot. I'll just move it a little bit here. So all we are doing is we have this view, which is having this text, which I just showed you this rating, what we built, and we are just displaying the product dot rating. So this is almost like displaying the product not name. We have reached so far into the course that this is obviously very basic. And after that, we have this text element, which actually uh, displays the product dot rating count and convert into locale string. So it's just a string value. Now, similarly, we have another container here, which I'll also bring it from my notes so that it's easier for us and we don't waste too much of the time. Rather, we focus on the elements which are necessary. I'll just push all of this onto the proper indentation. And in this view, the second view that we had, what we are doing here is, uh, we are descri uh, describing the product original pricing, the discount pricing, and the offered pricing. All the stylings are already applied. So this is all what we have. So I told you this is really basic. Now it can be any other type of uh, component as well. All we got to do is provide it as a product and then you can fetch them. If you don't like it, just remove the entire thing. Probably this is not where you're comfortable. Go ahead and remove it. It is not going to give you an error. 
If you don't like this, go ahead and remove this. This is not going to be giving you any error. The whole idea is we want to display image and name and then we can loop through the values and keep on providing the values because in the data, in the constant, we have a list and we have a lot of object. So we want to basically display all of this data. So that is all the goal is. All right, so this is all done. Our components are now ready. Now the whole thing is we'll go into app.js and all we have to do is in the home component itself, we have to see that how we can actually use that component that we have just designed, loop through the data and display all the products and use navigation so that somebody clicks on that, it goes on to the detail page and take all the data with them. So that's all what we have to do. Let's go ahead and catch up into the next video.